Hello YouTubers, this is the Anubifier. I always love to share any opportunity that I have to take a deep dive into a new product and this is no different. Monster Tech and Nubifier Media have collaborated since all the way back in 2015. We've watched their products evolve from the original desk mount, numerous versions of chair mount, the floor stand MTX, which was a full sim platform, monster chair, pilot chair, and the new evolution to MTS sim, and now an adjustable modular rail-based mounting ecosystem. All lessons learned, all community feedback and suggestions have always been incorporated. This product is very refined and offers an alternative somewhere between desk and floor stand. Some people really like the quick clamp and release of a desk mount. Some appreciate how a chair can become some kind of mini sim pit that moves with you. Optional modules for both let you plan, build and create. And this is where the fun comes in. And I can prove this because all you would need to do is search for Nubifier Monster Tech anywhere on social media or on the internet. That playlist covers how everything can go together. The story of the rail mount system goes all the way back to the movie Dawn of Justice when Alfred needed to take flight control over in an emergency. The HOTAS community blew up all over Reddit as people wanted some sort of storable system that would let them move things in and out of the way quickly. The rail itself for this system is a very special 2080 aluminum profile that has two channels, one near and one far. Depending on how you have your devices placed in the rails, you may be able to swap things around left to right without needing to remove them. So for example, my sticks are on the rear track, but my mouse is actually on the near track. The 2080 profile ships separately in a special tube and mine arrived safe without any damage. It's available in several lengths from 117 all the way to 200 centimeters, which is like 3.8 feet to 6.5 feet for the Americans in the audience. It's critical to measure the space that you have available and it's critical to consider if this would be compatible with your particular table construction. Is it solid wood or some kind of less expensive composite? Things you're looking for aside from the width is the surface. Is the surface flat? Can the rail be mounted quite close to the edge? And as I said, is the composition of the table solid or not? Desks might be wood, MDF, particle board, metal, or glass. There might be something hanging below that would need to be addressed, such as drawers, brackets, or a thick lip. My desk had a small utility drawer that I decided to remove to prepare for this install. Mine is suitable as it's a very dense MDF with an epoxy coating. Wood and MDF have a much higher density and are very well suited for the rail. Particle board and less expensive melamine is formed by mixing wood chips and some kind of glue into a paste and then compressing a heated paste to form a board. Quite similar to MDF, but the result has more voids, resulting in a lighter weight board with less structural integrity. When I was considering the most reliable way to get this rail mounted to many surfaces safely, I investigated a threaded metal insert in lieu of a wood screw. The advantages here would be more surface area for the thread to grab, with hopefully less chance for the insert to pull out. The advantage would also be a metal on metal thread instead of just a screw. You could attach and remove the rail over and over again without becoming worried that your mounting point would be ruined by the screw. There was no need to overly tighten the six bolts. Everything snug resulted in a very stable mount that I've tested in many situations for well over 24 hours of total play. I'm confident that it'll continue to be reliable. My space was quite limited at only 120 centimeters of rail, which is near the short end. I also noticed that if I needed to add or remove the mounts to the rails, there was no space to just let that slide off the end. They would need to be attached before the rail was mounted. And this is what originally led me to research the metal inserts. I knew screws and some kind of industrial glue would be an option, but I needed to test to see if there was a smarter way. I wanted the flexibility to mix and match and configure for testing without being concerned that I would have a problem in the future. I'm going to quickly take you through my process. I measured the total thickness of the desk surface with a micrometer. This is a discontinued IKEA conference table that was around $800. With no replacement parts available, I would not risk punching through the surface with a screw or an insert. I was sure that this would be attached full time here from now on. The measured thickness was 1.6 centimeters. I decided that an insert no more than one centimeter was needed, leaving a threshold of six millimeters. I first tested a couple times on a scrap piece of MDF. This gave me a chance to test with the drill and the drill depth collar. The collar when attached to the drill ensures that there's no way that it can bottom out and it would never punch through the surface. This took all the risk and guesswork out of my install. By testing on the scrap, I now had the confidence that I could drill into my desk without an accident. 
Using the rail as a guide, I marked the location for the holes, drilled and installed the threaded inserts. Everything lined up perfectly and I had considered that this could also be reinforced even more by using some kind of an epoxy on the inserts. But after testing, I will not be doing that. It's not needed. There are several parts that make up the rail system available from Monster Tech. The long and short mounts are designed to hold a joystick or a throttle. With the short 120cm rail that I have, I'm able to switch from right stick to middle stick in about 2 seconds. You could easily substitute left throttle for left stick for use in space games. If you prefer to have more, you can keep adding more and more mounts until you run out of space on the rail. Remember that there are two rails that overlap. If you had this space, you can add a throttle, stick, stick, panel, all of the items at your disposal. There are two other parts, a very nice mouse and a very nice keyboard attachment. I think the keyboard attachment isn't available yet, but it'll be made available soon. These are fantastic for ergonomics because as the joysticks mount secure away from the desk, you're slightly further back. The lower joystick placement is better to be more comfortable with great ergonomics, and it would be a shame for you to have to lean forward all the way to use your keyboard and mouse, so these are now part of the rail system. The keyboard tray bounces a very small amount. It's not game breaking, but it's not as solid as if it was resting on the table. For game titles like Star Citizen, Elite Dangerous, No Mind Skies, you're expected to constantly switch between controllers and keyboard and mouse. And for other titles like DCS, unless you get completely into where you have all the buttons, you're expected to rely on your keyboard and mouse as well. Mouse and keyboard can also be adjusted vertically, closer, further left, or further right. I found on my 120cm rail, I could mount no more than three items, but it was tight and limited how much I could slide from side to side. Having my sticks on the rear rail and the mouse on the front rail let me achieve this separation, which is the whole point. Separation is storage and fantastic. In seconds, my mini sim pit becomes a normal desk. I have a public service announcement. I've reviewed this using the Verpal Alpha Grip. I have tested the double Z adapter and they work perfectly. However, I did notice a slight conflict between them and the mouse surface, so I decided to remove the adapter in favor of having the mouse in the better location. It's important that you consider this if you're planning to buy. Anything larger than a 120cm rail will better support more attachments. The keyboard surface flips up and can be removed in seconds. It's held in place with a pair of thumb screws and that keeps it firmly in place. The keyboard surface includes an optional spot to attach a center mounted MFD or stream deck. This MFD extension can also be removed with two thumb screws. With all of these parts in the rail system, you can configure, but most importantly, you can quickly reconfigure. This might be that less expensive alternative that you're looking for to a full sim system. It might work perfectly if you work and game in the same place or if space is limited. The controllers remain connected and they just push aside. So that means that anytime you need them, they just slide back and it takes seconds. This desk rail shares all of the same vertical adjustments of the original desk mounts. The desk rail is also compatible with the variable pitch adapter plus all the extras that you may already own, such as the throttle adapter or the mouse adapter. Those of you who already have parts will find it familiar and those who are on the market can rely on the years of testimonials and success stories. I really feel this is all I need to say about the new Monster Tech desk rail system. It's an evolution, but I will say that if you're currently using standard desk mounts, the function is very similar. So you could probably pass on this. If you have chair mounts and you're very happy with them, then again, the rail system is more of a lateral upgrade and you can probably pass on this. If you do not have mounts or want to change away from a chair mount, I feel that this is a great alternative. Compared to the desk mount, the rail does have a slight amount more flex, but it didn't bother me and I did feel the need to mention it. It really does take a lot to impress me lately and I like this fresh take on putting your controllers where they need to be. Once I had everything adjusted, I just lived with it for a week before scripting the video and it did exactly what I expected. Actually, it did it better than expected. I think it looks great and I love the fact that it just goes out of the way in seconds. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. I have links throughout all of my video descriptions that are going to save you money. Ask any questions, feel free to post your own comments about your experience with Monster Tech. Join the Discord if you want to engage me directly, fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.